What's up gamers? In this video, I'll be showing you how to unlock all the great fairy fountains so that you can upgrade your armor as soon as possible to whatever you need, whatever you want. Let's get into it. If you've been exploring around the world of Hyrule, you'll probably have bumped into a fairy fountain and they refuse to come out of it because they want to listen to the sound of music. They also know that they can give you the blessing of clothing enhancement, but they are not coming out. So what you're going to need are musicians that are going to be able to progress the quest. The way you'll know this is by going to Woodland Stable. If you're wondering where Woodland Stable is, all you have to do is from Lookout Landing, you can just follow this path up over here, take this across this land so basically to the right of Hyrule Castle and then follow this pathway right over here to your arrive at Woodland Stable, which is by Pico Pond. You'll find two musicians playing there, Mastro and Violin. But if you try and interact with them initially, the quest will not start. In order to start this quest, you need to go to the Lucky Gazette that is located right next to Rito Village. Once you go there and start that quest, you can then head back to Woodland Stable. When you're at Woodland Stable, you'll notice that Pen from the Lucky Gazette is actually talking to the musicians. You could then go ahead and initiate that quest. The musicians want to fix up their wagon called the Breezer so that they can reach the ferry and play their music. So in order to pull this wagon, what you need to do is first, you need to grab a horse if you don't have one already. Second, you need to redeem pony points in order to grab a towing harness. Pony points are very simple. All you have to do is talk to one of the stable people for the first time. You can find these stables all throughout the entire region of Hyrule, and you can even sleep at the stable to get another point. Once you get those points, all you have to do is activate that from going to the pony points ledger and then receive your reward. Then what you're going to want to do is just put the towing harness on your horse when you summon it, go ahead and attach the wheels using Ultra Hand to the Breezer and then bring your horse towards the Breezer and attach the towing harness to that Breezer. Then go ahead and talk to them and they will hop onto their Breezer. And then all you have to do once they're on your Breezer is just take them up very carefully up this hill. Please make sure to carefully head over to the Fairy Fountain. If you do anything crazy where the Breezer is too shaky, if you try to use Ultra Hand and carry the Breezer up the top, it'll not work. Then they will hop off because it's shaking too much. So carefully bring them up that hill all the way to the fairy fountain and once you reach the fairy fountain a cutscene will enable the first fairy will come out Terra and you'll be able to start enhancing all your armor to one star after that Terra will then mark up where her other sisters are on the map so you now know where all the other fairies are now let's unlock another great fairy now, if you head over to Outskirts Stable, which is located by the bottom left Great Fairy location, Masha will talk about the Great Fairy Kesa. This fairy needs the sound of a flute to cheer her up. So what you want to do is head over to Highland Stable to find the flute player. When you get there, talk to a girl who mentions Piper is hiding. If you listen closely by the trees, you'll hear the flute sound. Piper is on top of a tree at the coordinates at the bottom right of my screen. Go ahead and talk to him and he'll give you the quest to grab 10 fireflies. Head over to the cooking pot at the camp and sit by the fire until night. After that, follow the road north of here into the wood area. Once you get here, look for 10 fireflies. They are going to be located by the water. Catch 10 of them and bring them back to Piper. Piper will then say to go and bring the same girl you talked to earlier here. Progress the night by one more by going to the cooking pot. Then you'll find her the next night awake. You'll bring her over to the tree where you found Piper and the cutscene will play. After this, Piper will join the band and you have to head back up to Outskirts Stable, the one by the ferry. When you're over there, you won't be needing a horse for this one. Talk to them about fixing up their breezer and then go ahead and look for a rock close by with giant wheels attached to it. Ultra hand that together, take the other wheel, put it on it and put the control stick as well on top of it. Then you're going to auto hand the breezer and place that on top of that. If you ever can't find a part for something you need to build, you can just go ahead and click ultra hand and look around and find something that is orange. After that, they'll all hop in and you have to drive that up past the little rocky formation up to the fairy fountain. This is pretty cool because it's like an off-road vehicle and now you know stuff you can build to start climbing hills and mountains. When you get to the top, the cutscene will activate and Piper will play his song. The fairy will then come out and now you can enhance your armor to two stars. This is really important because at two stars, armors get a set bonus. For example, this glide set at two stars takes zero fall damage. So go ahead and try to experiment with your armor upgrades here at two stars so you can find out some cool, awesome set bonuses. By the way, if you're enjoying this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Subscribing helps me out a lot and it just takes two seconds to do it. Also get linked to beat Ganondorf while you're there. Next, you wanna head over to the Tabatha Bridge Stable. When you get there, you'll see two NPCs talking close to the cooking pot. They mentioned that someone crossed the Tabatha Great Bridge who has a horn that traveled on a wagon. They also give hints about the upheaval 
upheaval, creating a wide hole. So we're going to be looking for a horn player in a hole. From there, go west across the bridge and continue to follow down this road. Once you get down the road, you'll eventually come up to a hole and there you'll be able to talk to Eustace. When you talk to Eustace, you'll then be able to attach things to his wagon in order to pull it out. I put two balloons at the top with the flame with flame emitters and two fans at the bottom. Once it goes up out of the hole and it finishes, then Eustace will head back to the stable trotters. Then head over to Snowfield Stable located all the way to the northwest. Once you get back to Snowfield Stable, talk to Mastro and then use your ultra hand and put some wood on top of it so it looks like a roof. Then grab your horse with the towing harness, attach it and talk to Mastro to have them all get on. Be careful to not have it tip over or it will reset. After that, go through the snowfield towards the fairy fountain. Steer clear of any bokoblins riding on horses there and head up to the next fairy spot. Eustace will play the horn and the great fairy will pop out and you'll be able to now three star your armor. By the way, any fairy can enhance your stars to whatever level you currently have unlocked. Next, head over to the Dueling Peak stable on your map, which is by the bottom right fairy fountain location. Master will mention that this fairy needs beach drums by Kakariko Village. Make sure to have three coarser bee honey and then head over to Kakariko Village, which is by the Sahasra Skyview Tower. From the clothing store in Kakariko Village, just follow this pathway until you reach this gate. Once you're at this little gate, continue down this road all the way. Walk past the construction guy and then look to a left and you'll see a little rock entrance. When you walk in there, that's where you'll see Beats banging his drums really loudly and you go ahead talk to him give him the three honey and he'll head back to join the stable trotters once that happens head back over to dueling peaks talk to mastro and then they will head over to the water to try to cross it by the ferry go to the area where they are trying to cross and then fix up their breezer i put the breezer on a wood piece added two fans on the back and then put a sail on just for decoration once that's done talk to mastro again and then they'll all hop on and you have to just cross the water and go across drums will be banged when you reach this cutscene and the great fairy will appear and you'll be able to upgrade your armor all the way to four stars. Now that you've unlocked all the fairy fountains in the game, you're going to also have to do this. You should really click on this video. 